Whatever you did today, I hope you made the most of your Labor Day holiday. Mm -hmm, that's right. For more than a century, Americans have taken off the first Monday in September for a break from work. WFMY News 2's Hannah Jeffries gives us a little history and how the holiday got started. That's right, guys. So today is normally seen as the official unofficial end of summer, and that's how we usually recognize Labor Day weekend with cookouts and parades. Yet over 100 years ago, the first Monday in September was just like any other work day, but those work weeks looked a lot different. This video is from the Department of Labor. It shows a timeline of events leading until modern day Labor Day. According to History.com, it all started back in the late 1800s at the height of the Industrial Revolution. At that time, the average American worked 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Can you imagine? No weekend. The History website says kids as young as five worked two. That is until the tides began to shift. As manufacturing increased, labor unions were created and renegotiations over hours and pay began. Also, strikes and rallies took off, some of which turned violent. 1887 brought about the beginning of the end when Oregon became the first state to recognize Labor Day. Other states followed suit and by 1894 it became a national holiday.